Yeah. We say hey, fam. We back, we back, baby, where the love? Where the love at? And we're back, we're back, we're back, back. after another month away. We're back, back home. Um, still, we have to lose the game. Hopefully, today's not going to be an L. Um, what else? What else do I need to talk about? Just hit me, come on. Come on. Um, Adnan's here, he's really well as well. What do we need to talk about? What do you need to talk He's really well, you know. <laughs> Within a month away, what do we have to say to you? We're just so happy to do something proactive for you guys to watch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Instead of a Zoom or even on Zoom videos are low key the best. Yeah. When I come from my home, we're actually doing Question, something. I'm gonna ask you. Show yourself on the camera so they know who I'm talking to. Alright, yeah, this yeah. I'm the vlogger. I'm back, baby, where the love? Big shout out to the homie Drake for providing us with the intro music. But yes, my people, we are back. After being a month away from football due to another national lockdown, we're back at Power League for yet another fixture of the Winter Fives. For anyone that's new to the channel, it is your boy CP on commentary as the boys take on Lads on Tory for the reverse fixture. Now, with some absences in the squad, the higher-uppers have decided to give Thiago another run-in after his previous performance, and the squad was also boosted by the return of Terrell. With all that being said, the starting lineup is as follows. Sitter in goal, a back two composed of Leandro and Adnan, yes, our striker Adnan, myself in the hole, and Jesus up front. Early doors, the boys in control, moving the ball around, getting familiar with the ball as it has been a month away. But as we can see, we're not rushing anything too early on. So much so, Sitter has actually been an active member of the team. Sitter, with some quick distribution, finds Jesus, who wasn't able to hold on to the ball, but our striker turned defender, Adnan, dispossesses the attacker, then proceeds to nutmeg an opposition player. Jesus with a little flick on onto me, but I don't even manage to hit the target. Lads on tour with a forward pass, which finds the run of their teammate. Adnan once again on defensive duty, forces a pass off the wall, which falls to my feet. Some good strength and skill sees me out. I find Jesus who plays a 1-2, but unfortunately the play ends with Leandro's failed flip-flap. Although ahead for much of the beginning stages of the game, we go behind as I try a flick on onto the path for Jesus, which was intercepted, and with a first time strike, the lad hits the top bins with a side footed effort. Adnan nearly equalizes the game but fails to hit the target. Now watch this, Leandro with a good through ball into the path of Adnan, but the keeper seems to touch the ball outside of the area, but no penalty was given. With the quick distribution into Jesus, who receives with his right, sells a fidget spinner to the lads on Torre players and equalizes the game with a delicate left footed shot into the bottom corner. In this instance here, due to a lack of pre game stretching, I actually overstretched my hammy, but nothing serious as I was to continue. But to all athletes out there, footballers, runners, basketball players, whatever you are, please, please remember to stretch. Combining well with Jesus, who finds Terrell free in the middle, but a really poor touch leads to him losing the ball. A battle in the corner, which we will see more of later in the game, ends up with the ball finding the lad's keeper, but a poor throw lands at the feet of Terrell, who only does well to force a save. Thiago loses the ball in midfield, a quick and precise lads on Torrey interchange falls to the feet of an unmarked lads player, who beats it with a right footed strike into the bottom corner. Lads on Tory on the front foot, some tired legs on the field for our team, but nothing comes of it. And how about this for some techers? The big man Terrell, upon receiving the rebounded block, cuts the ball onto his weaker left foot and with a very special half volley, whacks the ball off the crossbar and into the back of the net. I don't know what they have against the referee, but that was a solid strike. Another week, another moment of brilliance for Leandro. After going from prime Sergio Ramos to prime Benzema, Leandro dispossesses the attacker and slots home from his own half.
dick, bro. No comment. Argo once again introduced into the squad for a second week running in this passage of play showing a mix of good shooting and strength. Terrell nearly adds another goal to his tally after a good turn and shoot but only manages to find the woodwork. Poor season's free kick intercepted by the lads player but once again prime Sergio Ramos comes up big and stops any potential danger. Good one-two between Thiago and I, a good piece of skill to see myself pass the defender and a left foot strike into the top corner sees the boys ahead. The battle I was previously talking about, both beasts go against each other once again but Terrell reigns supreme and with a good piece of skill finds himself in front of goal but no goal. Penalty to Lazon Torre. The exact same thing we should have received the penalty for. Sitter touches the ball outside the area and the lads on Torre man converts confidently. Poor throw from Sitter but the attacker only manages to hit the crossbar. This is what I imagine the opposite to taking candy from a baby looks like. Leandro just stays on his feet, impossible to tackle, amazing pass into Adnan but unfortunately his touch lets him down. Naughty nutmeg on Jesus there. Close your legs, bro. And that is it for the first half. The boys go into the break level. No, I'm Second half on the way with the boys filled in the same fire that started the game. Free kick early on for the season's boys. Adnan finds a gap in the lads on Torre defence, slotting Leandro in, whom with some nifty footwork beats a few men but eventually gets dispossessed. Lads on Torre with a counter attack but the shot goes over the crossbar. The lads on Torre man obviously sees himself as Ronaldinho. Back heeled pass only manages to find the feet of Leandro, who with a first time effort doubles his tally and puts season's FC ahead. With momentum now on our side, Sitter throws the ball into the feet of Thiago, who does well to hench the defender and slot home with an outside of the foot effort. Seasons FC now 6-4 up. Great skill from Thiago, bamboozling the defender. If he don't succeed at first, try again. Leandro's flip flap sets him off, taking the ball past two opposition players, was fouled at first but stayed on his feet and nearly scored his third of the game. Great play from the boys with a nutmeg in the mix, however a poor pass sets the lad's striker but Prime Sergio Ramos makes the smart foul. Jesus easily beaten at first, the half shot half pass doesn't amount to anything initially but a fluky nutmeg on Jesus allows the lad's player to assist for the easy goal. Boys react quickly, minor scuffle in the corner, falls to the feet of Terrell who kicks the ball off the backboard, Adnan with good strength shrugs the defender, allowing Jesus to strike the ball and amplify the scoring. Let off for the season's boys as Sitter makes a great save, Leandro gets himself out of trouble with a sweet nutmeg but eventually gets fouled. We had some issues with the camera at this point, meaning we weren't able to catch the lads on Torre goal, but the score is now 7-6. Jesus carrying over his hot goal scoring form from the last game as he spins off the defender, sends him one way with a cute cutback and proceeds to put the ball into the back of the lads on Torre net. Adnan nearly getting in on the goal scoring action, but the keeper manages to stop the ball from creeping in. No goal. Great stop from Sitter. With a chop allowing me to get out of the tight situation, Leandro plays the ball back into my feet. I try a back heel pass into Adnan, which was then intercepted. And this is what we allowed to score against us. This moment here was the end for me in this game. The opposition player goes studs up into my ankle, I somehow stay on my feet, as I finally release the ball, I feel a rush of pain in the ankle area, forcing me to come off.
the beasts collide once again for the third instalment of their individual battle. It's alright mate, fuck you know, it's only a game. With the game now drawing to a close and the score settled at 8-6, I want to use this time to say thank you to everyone who keeps up with us on a weekly basis. We are now out of lockdown which means the content should be flying again. To everyone who hasn't already, please like, comment and subscribe. The unbeaten run continues as we edge closer to winning the Division 1 title. We didn't manage to get an interview with the man of the match this week but it was attributed to the prime Sergio Ramos Leandro. Thank you once again to everyone who has subscribed. We will see you all again next week. Peace. What do you have to say? Oi! Oi! Hey, chill out, fam. What to say? Another fucking win in the bag. Are you right? What happened? Shit! Oh, hell! We battered and bruised us today. Still can't lie, but we leave with the W. You get me? Well, that's gonna be fun though. That might get demoralized. So. Yeah, potentially. What do you have to say? I, I didn't want to do this, but the man himself insisted. You know what it is, yeah? I just, not, it's, not, it's not to like show off or anything, it just goes to show that. I know we show only the good parts of it. Let them have a good time. I know we only show the good parts of it, we only show the good bit. I just want to show, I just want to prove to you that we do work hard and that you get and then obviously. That's what you need. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah. 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 I'm all with the whole team. Now nah, nigga can't ask a call cause I'm all in.